Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh. In today's video, we'll learn about Apache Superset for visualization and for data science. Uh, so this is a very good reporting tool which you can use and you can, uh, to, for creating the multiple dashboards, which looks pretty amazing when it comes uh, to you can exploring the data and doing analysis on that. So this is the example which we will cover where we will draw an area graph, bar graph, world map, and a table view for all the data. So this is pretty one simple example and with the filters where how we can apply the filters. So this will pretty much complete all the things what you need to quick start it. If you just want to install this product, I have mentioned an installation video link in the description. You can follow that one. And the data which we are using for today's example is a DVD rental database in the Postgres database. So if you just don't have Postgres, just install it. It's pretty simple. And for this DVD rental, you just Google DVD rental database Postgres. You will find free links for it. It's a, you can say open database, which anyone can use for their, uh, you can say at practice purposes. Now, once this is done, one more step is left is you need to, uh, I will be uh, sharing this script with you. Just mention your email ID in comments. Uh, this script is, uh, it will create one country code table. This country code table is required for our, you can say world map. So that's why it is there. And these are the country and their code, what we need. Uh, post that, we have two views, which we will be using. I, actually, we will be using only one view. The second view is like more of a, just an outline what we, uh, the other view is. And then we uh, I, one update statement is there. Now, the reason for this update statement is because I want to create a time series. So here, if you see here, we have this time series. So for 2010, 2020 and so on. So for time series, I need to update some dates to the random number so that uh, we will be having a, some time series. By default, every record is having same grade date in this database. So this is just to overcome that. Once you have done it, we are pretty much ready to start with. So let's start. So the first thing is you need to just configure the databases. So databases, you just have to go here in databases section, click on the add button, give the connection name whatever name you want to give and then give the connection string the connection string also i will be adding in the description so the connection string is nothing just post grade and the initial then the username what you use and the password and then the local host local host is your local server you can say local system and then the database name dvd rentals so that this is a pretty simple connection string you can easily do that once this is done you saved it you will see your database uh, into your databases and if it everything is fine you are good to go with it now post database the second step is just to add tables now table is nothing but anything with the metadata so the view which we have created we will be using that view so for an example we will be creating you can say we'll use a new view so i just added a new so you just need to it's the same view what i have mentioned in the script i'm just changing the name because by default already this view is added so you just need to create the view you can just query the view see the data here so it's the same data date created the name of the you can say uh, my customer and the country so all these are the three columns which we will be playing around most of the time and now we are good to go so as we have the view ready we'll just add that view in the table so in table again select your database select the schema by default everything is in public schema in postgre copy paste your view name save that's all okay now we are going to the charts. Now the charts are the one which we have to create before dashboards. Okay, so let us add a chart saying like, so first is we have to choose the data source. Now data source is nothing but the view which you just added. So this is the view which we added. We'll select that, click on the visualization time. We'll pick the world map first. I know most of the people will be uh, curious about that one, how to create that world map. Just select the visualization type to be world map and then the create new chart, okay? We'll give a name saying like DVD rental world map. Okay. And now here right now you see the control is totally empty. Now how we can fill it up. First you need to change the time range. Let us select the time range to like change the time range to no filter. We want to select all the data because as the time range is there, it doesn't show the data because it will be selecting the last week and the DVD rental is having all the data in, you can say before 2012 only. And then you have to, you can say, give the country code field, the field which has the country code. So we have country code as a separate column coming from the, you can say database. This is the country code. I just selected that. I just need to select the country code. Once this is done, I just, everything is good and ready. I can just click on run and it will give me my world map with the, all the values within it. Okay. Now 
I just want to make it more appealing. So there is some section called bubbles. In bubbles, I can go, I can just select show bubbles. And I can say, I want to see the count of my IDs into the bubble. And I can just click on here again. Let me show you. So here in the label again, you have different custom. You can see you can add your own custom uh, relation. And then again, you can just you can create my customer count customer customers. Let's say customers. We'll just add that and click on run query. It might take some time. Let it run. Let me just refresh first. Let us save it. Save the chart and refresh the page. Okay, now I uh, it automatically refreshed. Now, wait a second, I don't, I'm not getting my data. Let me see the reason for that. Oh, I got it. So the thing is country field type, we have to select the CCA3. Uh, this is the standards of country codes right now, which we are using is this one. So after adding the bubbles also, you can see now that the country are highlighted by default automatically with the IP range, it will reflect, uh, you can select your country. And here you can see the country is selected. You can take your focus and you can see how many counts are there of my total customer. So this is my first chart, which is ready. So you can see that it is pretty simple just to create that visualization. Now let us come to the second chart, which is area chart. Okay, let us just add, and again, the data source is same view. I'm not changing it. I'm just clicking on my area view. I can just select the chart visualization type to be area view, create new. Again, uh, the first thing is in this one, let me just have a custom range selected. Let's say from 2000, I will be selecting the data because if I just select from 90s, it becomes crazy. Now, if I just select it, it will might look very creepy it's just one thing so i need to group by things also so i will say i will group by uh, the data with countries again if i run it let it run let's see how visualization will come up so now you see it is more creepier than the previous one the reason for that is one is time grain is a day i don't want to select the data by day let me select it by the year i want to see the data in a year format not as a you can say a day still it will be creepy let's just fix it step by step let it refresh it might take a few seconds to do that now here at least somewhat it can you are able to see you can say some something you can see uh, more easily but still it is more creepy now the thing is um, there are so many countries in my data so it becomes very difficult for me just to see all the data in one chart. So what I will say is I want to see only the first 25 countries all the time. So I can just say limit the series to 25, sort by descending. So by default, the country with the greatest number in that year will be coming. Now here you can see the things are a little bit fine compared to the previous one, what we were having. Am I right? So if you just take the focus here, you can see Argentina, 11%. If you just move it automatically, it will tell you Philippines, what is the percentage? India, what is the percentage? It's 33%. You can just go in like that. Okay. So it's a beautiful chart for visualization. It's literally beautiful and very interactive. Let us just create it. Area chart for uh, DVD rental. Let's say DVD rental. It's a DVD rental area chart. Let us just save it. done so you can see how easy it is for uh, anyone to just create this visualization am i right there is no complexity it's very simple let us just create the bar chart bar chart is the most simplest one you will just figure it out by just looking at it let's see i will go again same data source visualization type to be you can say bar chart click on create i don't want any range i just want the count and my series will be my countries run the query done you can see <laughs> it's very simple dvd rental bar it's very simple just to create this one and let us just add one more that is our table view okay okay let's go here click on here select my you can see data frame select the table view create now the table view by default it will come as a grouping one so you will see the counts only so you need to remove the counts and there are something called as non-group columns you need to select all of them so just say select all 
and now run the query because by default it shows the grouping so here the things will come now again there is a time range if you just want to remove the filters just say remove all the filters run it now it will bring all the data okay let's rename it again dvd rental table now the last which we are left with is the filter one because the filter one will be the one which you might be using it uh, a lot because we need the filter one because without a filtration these charts are waste am right every time they will be loading all the data it doesn't make any sense so let us just go in charts again my system is getting slower sorry for that Now for filters, I have to just click on again, new chart. I will select my data source. It's the same. Select my visualization to be the filter. So let me just figure it out. So here you see the filter box. Filter box you have to select, create new. By default, there will be a time filter. If you just want to remove it, you can remove it, else keep it. You can add more filters to it. So if I just need to add, I can just click here and I can select my field. I want a country filter not anything else uh, if you make it required it becomes required else it is not required you can just have it like that and label it like countries let's say countries as the one and that's all now if i just do it now here you can see both of them and here you will see the list of the countries by default it will pick it up from here don't worry uh, i need to map the column uh, so the the column is already there yeah but things are good let me just see why it is not coming hmm. okay let us just see in that screen let's say in the dashboard whether it will come or not and say filters okay dvd rental filter dvd rental filters things are done we don't have pretty other thing okay last week because there is a range always selected let us make it like no filter for the date that's why the countries were not coming sorry for that i think yeah that is the reason save it uh, all right now we are done with our all charts now we have to just create the dashboard so we will go to the dashboard dashboard is just pretty dragged off nothing more we'll say duty rental mean dashboard let's say dashboard i'm just giving any creepy name any other thing you want to mention you can just give your own styles and all just save it now if i go on my dashboards i need to edit it so here is the edit button. So again, if you have seen, edit the dashboard. Now here you have to click on, first you need to add a row. Once you added the row, you need to click on your charts. So let us add first to be the filter one, filter got added. Then I need to add area chart. And then I need to add rental, uh, you can say bar chart. So all the three charts are there. Now, again, I need to add a row because I want to see my uh, countries chart in a big, row so i can just add a new row in the bottom again i have to go into my charts i can say world map i need to add and again i can just drag it to the corner so that it can occupy all the space if i just want to make it bigger i can just merge the rows that's also possible and then i want to add a divider so that there can be a line in between and once divider is done i will add one more row for my table view okay I can add a tabs also, so it's pretty amazing. Whatever you want to explore, you can explore it. Again, I will just add my row. And in the last one, I will just add my table data. And the best part is you don't have to link specially the filter with it because everything works with the same data frame. So the, whatever the filter will apply, automatically it will filter all the things, okay? Just give me a second, let it complete. Take the space. Now it has taken the space. I just need to save the changes, that's all. Now your dashboard is ready for use. Now here you can see your dashboard. I'm right. Now let us test our filters. Oh wait a second. Let me just refresh it. There might be some problem. Okay. Now here you can see the chart, uh, your area chart, your bar graph, your world map, and our, you can say table view also. Okay. So everything is up and ready. Now if I just to test my filters, let us just test my filters by selecting a country. Let me just select, let's say India. Let me just select India. If I just click on India, everything will refresh in a second. 
So here you can see all the sales for India came. Only the India is highlighted. Other countries are done, and only the data which is available is of country India. Now, if I want to add, because as I selected, uh, you can see my filter was multiple select. I can select more countries, and automatically their chart will also start appearing in between. And again, they will be also highlighted. So the thing is. The filter will apply all, all on all the you can see controls which are sharing the common filters. Okay, I hope this video would have been very informational for you. If you, there is any question or if there is any problem you are facing in creating dashboard, please um, you can contact me through my email ID or phone number. Both are easy, uh, you can say easy and you can connect me. If there is any question, just post it in the comments as well. Thank you. I uh, if there is any question, just help me out. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. Bye bye.